guys mind tested here and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to change the IP of your bucket server. Basically what you want to do is you want to go to this website, I am saying it's free, uh, well if you want to get a really really good IP I think it's like Dot, um, dot com or something I think you do need to pay for it but there's a whole bunch of different stuff so the link for this here will be in the description here it is right here uh, so once you go here uh, you got your bucket server right here everything's running I haven't fiddled with it a bit given it a brand new name and that's what we're going to be calling the server but basically uh, I'm actually making this here for a friend of mine so what you want to do if you want to change the IP if you want to go you want to go to here and it will come up in a second if this loads it will come up with a whole different things where you can have it and if you don't get oh, what's my IP going to be uh, the US.2 is what the ending is going to be so you can go I don't know mindtastic.us.2 but um yeah sadly these are uh, like there's a whole lot of them here but I really wanted to actually get like .com or something uh, I. I'm pretty sure you can get it, but I think it actually does cost money. So we're going to go with the um, US.2. So all you want to do is click on that. Just load, I don't know why it's just taking a long time to load. Uh, so you've got like moochickenkiller.com, that's a pretty cool one. So you've got this here. You want to keep it as a subdomain, so that's what's going to be your server. I'm going to make Minecraft Engineers. I'm just going to get actually I'll keep the capitals in so you've got Minecraft engineers it should be .us.2 so it's public and it should already have your IP there if you don't know what your IP is um, I think that's a bit different but you want to go to here right click that open up with whatever I'm going to open it up with that and um, you should have typed it in so here we go this here was my server IP it's been down so if you can't join it that's why like that was my old server IP, but um, apparently this here has the built-in server computer IP. So once you've done that, you want to click enable. You want to click that there, but then you have to guess this, and I actually hate this so much. Uh, HD. And if it says it doesn't work or whatever, and then you go retry again. But sometimes the images are so hard to figure out it actually doesn't work. So it was incorrect. So you see, got it wrong, you can click different image if you want. I actually just find this annoying, but I get why they do it. But um, for some reason they're just so hard, well, in my opinion. Uh, that's what it looks like for me. Save. There we go, we've got new IP. So I actually want to delete and delete those. I don't need yeah. yeah, I'm going to delete them. So click delete. So we've got Minecraft Engineers there, so you've got Minecraft Engineers .us .2. That there is a server IP, so um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and click Add. And if we go ahead and launch Minecraft, I guess it will just take a second for it to load. And that, I've been working on a whole lot of stuff, but this is actually a really cool way. It's completely free, and it shouldn't harm anything of your computer. So you can load it up, uh, any version, but I suggest what... Um, the version that you've got your um, craft bucket, mine's one hopefully latest. So if we go add server, you should still be able to join it from all the old IPs, but since I deleted them, got yeah, S.2, click done, and we actually launched the server, that would be so helpful. Minimize all these and you will see that it will actually uh, load all the other servers um, just give it a bit for it to start up uh, don't have any plugins and uh, here we go I'll just double check to show you Minecraft engineers the server is up and running and if we go click I haven't really fiddled with anything or anything yet and you can see it's let us join and uh, here we are so you can give that to your friends if you don't want them joining your other IP. So, for example, I think it's this one. Uh, you could put in. Uh, where is it again? Why am I closing everything? I shouldn't be closing. 
Uh, normally you'd give them that there, they would have to join that, and um, it would just make things a whole lot confusing because um, if if they're not really trustworthy friends, they can actually hack into your computer. That's why I did blur stuff out the other episode. I figured out how to properly blur out so I don't cut out the whole thing. But um, normally you give them that if they wanted to, they could um, well, hack into your computer. So you'll be able to log in like this here and um, do whatever you want just on a different IP. So you can make as many IPs as you want. So um, if you really wanted to, you can give, uh, I don't know, if you wanted to make a proper server I wouldn't suggest using bucket though but um, if you did you could have you could give him like an IP for everyone who normally joins and uh, you can give like rank members or something a different IP or well, yeah it's just a whole lot confusing but still I reckon it is really really cool it doesn't change anything in the game and um, it's just a good way of getting other IP um, Yes, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, so make sure to subscribe, slap that like button, choose me, supporting my channel, and love my content, and um, please let me know in the comments below what we should try next, and if you've got any suggestions of what we should do, I'm happy, um, die, die, I'm happy to um, do plugin tutorials, I don't know if you want me to though, um, I'm not an expert at them, but I can, well, I guess learn them. Um, but, uh, yeah, just tell me what you just want, and, well, hopefully I'll check it out, and, yeah. So thanks for watching, this was Mindtastic, and goodbye!